I am Manil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have an excellent question from one of our subscribers. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for participating actively and providing some beautiful examples. We need to solve the equation log to the base 4 of absolute value of 2x plus 2 minus log to the base 4 of absolute value of 3x plus 1 equals to half. I would like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Well, in case you want to learn from me directly, you can always send an email on the address given. Now what is going to be our strategy to solve this particular question? Well, let's also look into the absolute value function and the restrictions on the logarithmic function. Now, for log, the value has to be greater than 0. So, absolute value will be 0, but greater than 0, but will be 0 at some point. So, let's look into each function and then see what are the restrictions and how do we solve it. Let me rewrite. So, we have log to the base 4 of absolute value of 2x plus 2 minus log to the base 4 of absolute value of 3x plus 2 plus 1 equals to half. Now we can apply the logarithmic rules and thereby write the expression on the left side as the quotient of absolute value of 2x plus 2 over 3x plus 1 and that becomes equal to half and then we can take 4 and write it in exponential form and then we get absolute value of 2x plus 2 over absolute value of 3x plus 1 equals to 4 to the power of half over the square root of 4 and that is 2. So we have quotient of absolute values equal to 2. How do we solve this type of an equation? Well, as far as the absolute value is concerned, we know that the function could be positive or negative, right? But after absolute value, it is definitely positive. So, let's rewrite. So, if I have this expression 2x plus 2, and if you want to see how it looks like, it will be 2x plus 2 for x value greater than or equal to minus 1 because minus 1 makes it 0. But be negative of 2x plus 2 when x is less than minus 1. Correct? So that is for the numerator. Similarly, the denominator also we can rewrite the function. So let me write in a different ink. So, we have absolute value of 3x plus 1 which is equal to 3x plus 1 when x is greater than or equal to minus 1 over 3, right? But be negative of 3x plus 1 when x is less than minus 1 over 3. Is that part clear to you? So, this is basics about the absolute value function itself. Okay. So, that means to solve this equation, we need to look into three different intervals, right? So, we are going to analyze this equation, these three intervals, and remember that the denominator cannot be zero. Okay. So, so our intervals will be from minus infinity to minus 1, minus 1 to minus 1 by 3, and to the right of minus 1 by 3. Correct. So, keeping that in view, let's rewrite this expression and do it on a fresh page. So, I could actually write this as absolute value of 2x plus 2 equals to 2 times absolute value of 3x 
plus 1. No harm in writing this, right? So let us first solve in the interval when x is greater than minus 1 over 3. Okay. So we are going to solve it when x is greater than minus 1 over 3 x cannot be equal to minus 1 over 3, right? So, in that case, both are positive in this interval, right? So, we could rewrite this expression as 2x plus 2 equals to 2 times 3x plus 1. Is that clear to you, right? So, so that is what we get. And now, we can actually multiply. And so, we get 2x plus 2. 2 and 2 can cancel, right? we could do that equals to or just open the bracket okay. better divide by 2 right that be is better right so we can write x plus 1 equals to 3x plus 1 right so we just divide by 2 on both the sides now bringing x terms on the left side and the other terms on the right hand side we get 1 minus 1 which is 0. So, minus 2x equals to 0 will give us x equals to 0. So, x equals to 0 becomes one of our solutions, right? So, we have one solution which is x equals to 0. Correct. Now, let us solve this equation in the other two intervals. <coughs> So, let us take it on the new page, absolute value of 2x plus 2, we are solving this equation, equals to 2 times absolute value of 3x plus 1. So, let us take it on the new page. So, we have equation now that 2, absolute value of 2x plus 2 is equal to 2 times absolute value of 3x plus 1, right? We actually simplify this. We can take 2 common, right? Equals to 2 times absolute value of 3x plus 1. And that is x plus 1 absolute value equals to 3x plus 1. So, this is simpler. Perfect. Okay. So, now we are looking into the interval So, now let us look into the other intervals, right? So, we are talking about the interval from minus infinity to minus 1, correct? In which we are going to solve the equation. And then from uh, minus 1 to minus 1 by 3. We have already seen the solution in the interval from minus 1 over 3 to infinity, right? there we got the value of x as equal to 0. Perfect. So, when you are in the interval which is between minus infinity to minus 1, in that case, both are negative, right? So, both are negative. We could write this as minus x plus 1 equals to minus 3x plus 1. And that is exactly the same as we did earlier, right? So, I could cancel away the negatives and write this as x plus 1 equals to 3x plus 1, right? So, which will give us minus 2x, same equation, minus 2x equals to 0, and that gives you x equals to 0. However, in this interval, x should be between minus 1 and minus infinity, so there is not a solution. It is important to note that this is a solution when we are talking about the interval greater than minus 1 by 3, correct? Perfect. So, now let us look into the center portion which is between minus 1 and minus 1 over 3. So, in this interval 2x plus 2, that part is positive, right? So, so, we could write this as 
so we are looking into we just modified our equation and we are actually solving this simpler version right so we could write this as x plus 1 equals to negative of 3x plus 1 right so let's open the bracket so we get x plus 1 equals to minus 3x minus 1 bring the terms together x plus 3x equals to minus 1 minus 1, 4x equals to minus 2, x equals to minus 2 over 4, which is minus half. And minus half is within, within this interval. So that is a solution, right? So, so we have our solution now. So solution is minus half and 0. So both are the solution for the given equation. So I hope it is absolutely clear, right? So once again, what we do here is that we look into the absolute value function as a piecewise function, right? As a piecewise function. So that gives you three intervals to work with. So while working with an interval which is greater than minus 1 over 3, both sides are positive and you could solve them as shown here. We actually simplified this equation to move forward and then solve within the other two intervals, which is minus infinity to minus 1 and from minus 1 to minus 1 by 3. We got a solution of x equals to minus half within the interval minus 1 to minus 1 by 3. So, we have two solutions for this particular equation. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, it would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.